This is the week of the devil's defeat, and we declare we will rejoice and be glad in it. And this is another devotion today that we honor God for the opportunity and this space to give praise to God. And remember, this month we will bless the Lord with all that is within us, and we will bless his holy name. And our meditation today comes from Psalm 104, where we hear and see and experience the psalmist praising God, blessing God, because he is the God of nature. Yes, he did not only save us, but he is sustaining us through nature. He's helping us every step of the way. And we honor God today because he is in charge of everything. He made the heavens. He made the earth and all that dwell therein. And so when we say bless the Lord with all that has been in us, bless his holy name, we are saying bless the Lord because he made everything. And someone once said, nature has two great revelations, that one of use and the other of beauty, and that they are bound together and tied to each other. Beauty is just as much a part of nature as its use. Use and beauty are one in the same. And God made them all. And I believe that today, the earth, nature, beautiful, but it also has use. And God is using it today to sustain us, to carry us through. And that's why we need to pause even today to look at the beauty of God through nature and say, God, I bless you. God, I praise you. God, I honor you. And that is why Psalm 104 verse 1 starts like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. The word of God to the people of God. And let's read the rest of it this day. Let's read it slow. Let's allow it to massage us, to work in us, and then let's experience the beauty of God. No rowing, no fussing, no complaining. Just gaze in the heavens and say, God, I bless you because your light is helping me to see. God, I bless you for the wind because it is causing me to breathe. He has set it up so that we may live and mature and develop. Let's bless him today with all that is within us. And let's bless his holy name. Father, we thank you that you're the God of nature. You made us and not we ourselves. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You formed it with your own hand. You formed it with your own words, and we give you praise. So as believers today, we will pause for this cause, to bless you because of what you have made. This is no accident, but this is your creation. You formed it. You saw it, and you made it beautiful. And we honor you today. May we care about what you've done. And may we treat it with respect. Indeed, God, may we honor you through the way we operate in nature even today. We bless you. We don't worship nature, but rather we worship the God of nature, Elohim himself. And we give you praise and honor and glory. We're just trying to find ways to bless you. So much is going wrong. So much is going awry in family, in communities. Yes, even in ministry. But in you, there is greatness. And that's where our focus ought to be. That's where our attention ought to be. So that we may be resourced like nature is. And we may be encouraged. That we may stand fast in you. 
We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory because you're the God who saves us. And you are sustaining us by your right hand. And for this, we give you honor. Let the redeemed say so today. Let us proclaim, let us create in the atmosphere the greatness of you. And we give you honor. We give you glory. We give you praise. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. We hear those who lead the nations this morning, including our prime minister and all of parliament, their families. We pray for leaders everywhere that we would allow you to inspire us. We'd allow you to influence us. Those leaders who are doing crime and criminality, we come against their actions today with the word of God, with the gospel of the kingdom of God, with good news that they could change, they could be different. They just need to repent and be saved, be converted and live according to the will of God the Father. So we pray for leaders everywhere today and we command us to you, those who lead in the body of Christ, may we stay missional, may we stay focused, may we give you glory and we give you praise. We magnify you, we give you honor for the peace of Jerusalem. We seek peace today. May we speak with caution, may we speak with love, may we speak with encouragement, may we speak God with love causing others to know that Christ in us who is the hope of glory. So we bless you on every job, every work environment, every playground, every part today. We give you thanks, even in the sporting arena. We give you praise, particularly in the kindergarten, in the youth area, God, we praise you, Father, that our children will know you, that our youth will grow in you. And we honor you today. Those who are convalescent, we bring them before you today. We pray for our aged. God, touch them. Cause their minds to stay on you today. Heal and deliver. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. This we ask in the name that is above every day. In the name of Christ, the King of glory, who we bless today. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. God bless you and keep you today as we praise God for more and more blessing flow. As we bless him because he's the God of nature and he's keeping us even now. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.